Hello and welcome to the sixth video tutorial from 4dfrog.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these character polymodeling and hypernerps. Um, basically, I got the idea of my mushroom tutorial. This is, I think, if a cow marry a mushroom, this is going to be the baby. So I'm going to create a new file here and then create a sphere, change the segments to 8, and then make the object editable. Now, um, okay, select the polygon and then UL to select the loop and then extrude. Okay, this is going to be the face. Now I'm going to make the body, um, again, UL. And then now I want to create three different segments. Extrude, one for the neck. Um, this should be long enough. And one for the arms and one for the legs. Okay, cool. Now I'm um, going to work on the neck a little bit. Just scale it. Um, and this time I'm going to change it to um, the edge. And then again UL and scale it down. Okay, this should be good for the neck. And then these two gonna be my arms but right now if I just like I extrude these two um, the arms gonna interfere the body so I'm gonna get the loop selection again and then scale it so okay now I think this should be good to create the arms uh, let's create them I'm gonna select these two and extrude inner a little bit and then extrude um, I think this is good I don't want that to interfere the body um, and then now I want to create the legs. I'm going to create, um, actually select these two and make sure that the, the preserved group is off because you want to have like a two separate legs. And then um, extrude inner, preserve group off, and then extrude again. Okay, and then now I want to add like two eyes here get these two again and extrude inner make sure the preserved groove is off extrude inner and then extrude extrude inner and then extrude in and then again extrude inner and extrude out well this should be good and um okay let's drop this in hypernerves just um, drag the sphere inside the hypernerves. See, it's already like a cute character. Um, change the shading. And then I'm going to add like uh, two horns here. Select these two. And right click, do the matrix extrude. Um, this should be good. And then now I'm going to create like a two ears here and then extrude inner and then extrude okay I think that's it if you want to change something you can always go back and just modify the stuff just like a play with all the uh, polygons and then you can always make it more perfect okay hope you enjoy it and again this is from 40frog.com thank you and have a nice day